Hello, 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 Kevin here, and today I am going to show you how you can use the KOS mod without doing a lick of programming. Yes, one of the uh, Reddit users on the KOS subreddit has created a cool utility library, and we are going to take one of these stock planes and kind of play around with it and, uh, you know, showcase it, because I think it's pretty cool. So there's a script, I'll have the link in the description if you want to go ahead and take a look. If you've installed the KOS mod, you don't have to write anything, you just have to grab that file and throw it into ship's script. And what I'm gonna do, so I've taken this out of stock because building airplanes is hard. Um, and we have a couple of different uh, KOS scriptable control systems, because I'm running this in sandbox mode. There's uh, yeah, this small inline, you've got a even tinier inline, and then we have this cool little radial thing that I'm gonna go ahead and just throw on here. Let me make sure we've got that on. Okay, get rid of these. And let's just zoom in right here. So this is a tiny little KOS running thing, and I'm gonna go ahead and just toggle what its boot file is to run boot KOS utils. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna provide a couple of utilities that's gonna make flying manually a little bit easier and make it harder to screw it up. So let's go ahead and throw this thing on the uh, runway. And here we are, and you see it's popped up this utility menu. It says, please select the utilities that you would like to run. Let me throw the brakes on so we don't go anywhere crazy. Um, okay, so we have a panel util that will open and close the solar panels when we leave and exit the atmosphere. There's a gear util which will raise and lower the landing legs automatically or the landing gear depending on your craft when we go above 100 meters. There is a chutes util which will arm parachutes and then, let's see, will not open chutes if no atmosphere is present. Oh, that's fantastic. And then a remote tech antenna util. So we'll go ahead and, and play with some of those. But right now, I want to select the gear util because we're in a plane and I can go ahead and hit I and K. And you see the arrow there is moving up and down. And then I can hit H to select the thing that I want to enable. So I'm gonna say, I would like the gear util please. And it puts a nice little X there. And let's go down to the bottom and say, I'm gonna run the selected utilities. And you see there's also empty slots. So if you wanna go ahead and start writing your own things, eventually you can go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna say, go ahead and select that, hit H. And there we go, it is gone away. Cool, 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 cool. So, okay, now I gotta remember how to fly things. Uh, let's go. And brakes off. And let's see if I can, if I can do this. Cause I am, uh, yes, it has been, <laughs> quite some time all right oh we are picking up a lot of speed very quickly this is a well-designed stock plane maybe we will see let's let's can we get up there we go all right we're up look at that oh we are going really fast oh okay i am not good at flying <laughs> oh but look at that see gear utility above 100 and it raised our landing gear. I didn't have to think about it. I didn't have to remember it. I didn't have to accidentally crash into random things. And I'm sure it's helped my drag performance or something. Let's see, can I, uh, nope. I don't want to go too fast. Let's see if I can bring this thing around and try and land. This is a cool utility and it's got, oh, see it logged it up here. Raised the uh, gear and legs. Okay, let's, let's pull. Yeah, pull those G's. Oh, this is nice and responsive. I like this. All right. And should I try and go for the, I suppose I could try and go for the runway. That's, that's iffy. Let's see if we can, oh, nope. If I slow down too much, then we'll end up in trouble. I am not good at this. <laughs> this is why I'm a big fan of the KOS because it handles all of the thinking I can I can at least plan all this stuff in advance and not have to try and manually fly stuff. Okay. Oh boy. Okay. Oh, let's okay, we're gonna sass. There we go. Okay, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make it to the runway, I don't think. I suppose we could do a second pass. Let's let's see if we can do a second pass, shall we? We'll we'll throttle up a little bit. Okay, yeah, with sass this becomes much easier. Let's go out and give ourselves some range to come about. And pull up over there, the outside of the turn, and then, yeah, let's do this. Right, bring it around. 
Okay, I'm feeling slightly more confident. All right, look at that. We're we're heading towards the runway, ish. All right, let's 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 kill the throttle entirely, and see if we can glide this thing in, huh? Shall we? Oh, I'm coming in. How am? Oh, I'm yeah. I'm gonna be going very fast. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. Space planes. Not even space planes, just regular planes. Oh, and look at that! It lowered the landing gear for me. Will it be enough? We shall see. But look at that! Yeah, we got the landing gear. Fantastic! And let's just... Okay, brake! Brake, 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 brake! Brake! Are the engines off? They should be off. Brake! Alright! Look at that! And I didn't have to worry about the landing gear. No more accidentally skid skidding yourself into the uh, into the tarmac because you forgot things it just remembered that for us I think that is pretty cool okay so it's time to play with another one of uh, <laughs> these stock crafts um, let's go ahead so there's a solar panel there but I think I do not see other solar or th are those no nope, that's not a solar okay let's add some solar panels to this thing so that we can test how awesome that is uh, where are the solar panels oh I have too many too many mods installed all right Let's see, nope, nope, nope. There we go. Okay, three by two solar panels. Let's stick, uh, let's stick some of those on here. We'll stick them. Let's see. Yeah, let's stick, let's stick two of them right up here. There we go. And I'm gonna add a remote tech antenna as well, because we want to see if that, uh, how that uh, plays out. So let's grab this. Uh, ooh, this high range communitron. Let's see. We stick that, throw that on there, right? Perfect. Oh, two of them? Ah, well, why not? It's a, it's an expensive space program, but okay. Let's go ahead and uh, try launching this thing. I'm, I'm interested to see if it, uh, how well it does. Oh, and oh, before I forget, yeah, we have to actually add the uh, KOS unit. So let's go ahead and take another one of these radial things, and I'm gonna stick it on the side here. Let's make sure there's just one of those. And again, just go in here and right click and tweak the uh, boot file. So I'm going to set it to boot KOS utils, which I've downloaded. Let's go ahead and get ourselves to space. Alrighty, and there we go. We get the same panel again. And uh, one thing to note is that you do need to click out of this window because if you try and type in here, then it's going to think you're trying to actually type some scripty stuff. So um, I'm going to click out and then I'm just going to enable all of the things this time. Let's go ahead and say, yes, select that and select that I want the gear util and select the shoots and select the remote tech antenna stuff and let's go all the way down and say run all of those things there we go and now we can look at that and it will monitor okay so let's see if this craft can fly because yes yeah, stock KSP things questionable all right go and go let's get flying woo um, oh this is Okay, yes, yeah, so these boosters are in state. Oh, there we go. It's, it, well, it's raising the gear. They were uh, already, yeah, because this thing does have gear on its second stage, so it's making sure that those are retracted because we are more than 100 meters away. Uh, let's, I guess let's start a little bit of a grab. Oh, okay, first stage is away. Let's do this. <laughs> Suppose we, yes, yeah, so let's, let's start ourselves on a little bit of a turn. Not too much, because I don't want to go crazy. The, uh, the atmosphere is much less forgiving in a recent versions of KSP. All right, and second stage. There we go. Come on. Okay. Oh, we're getting some. Yep, we're getting some wind effects. I'm gonna slow down because I don't wanna. Don't want to have to deal with that. But no, I think this is a really cool way uh, to kind of let people play with the, the KOS mod, um, even without kind of having to look up and kind of understand how to start uh, with the programming stuff. So, you know, if you just want something that's going to kind of manage some of those menial tasks for you, like remembering to raise your gear and remembering to deploy your antennae and stuff like that. Um, in particular, the remote tech antenna thing, I, I personally find very useful because um, if I send up craft and I forget to uh, enable 
the antenna, then it's basically just a, you know, if it's an unmanned thing, then it's a probe that's just dead in space and you basically can't do anything with it, which gets to be ridiculously frustrating. So having something like this can be really helpful in terms of just handling the stuff that you may forget to do um, and just kind of disaster mitigation on, uh, on that side of it. But yeah, okay, I'm impressed with this uh, stock ship. I think, yeah, we're, oh, we're very high up in the atmosphere. I think we can safely, in fact, I don't know why I'm doing a gravity turn. We're gonna come back down because we want to be able to test this thing. So actually let's, Let's go, let's go north. <laughs> See if we can change our trajectory a little bit. Because I'd, li I'd like for us to come back down over land just to, so we can test and see the uh, recovery stuff in action. Alright. I suppose we can still go a little bit east so that the planet doesn't rotate too much while we are in orbit. Is that... Oh boy, that's a lot of space. Okay. <laughs> Perfect, okay, so yeah, by the time we get back, the planet should be underneath us, so let's go ahead and uh, wait until we get to, or, or, well, not to orbit, but to space, and we can watch this thing do its, uh, do its stuff. I'll go ahead and even discard this stage now, because we're not going to need it. And there we go! Panel utility, leaving atmosphere, opening stuff, and it opened the antenna, so now we've got the remote tech antenna, we've got the, um, we've got these, uh, <laughs> little dinky... <laughs> little dinky panels deployed that is fantastic and didn't have to remember to do that so if we had sent up a probe it would be connected and it would have uh power and we wouldn't have to you know <laughs> decommission something because of poor planning let's go ahead and warp ahead a little bit and let this thing get itself uh get itself back down and all right we're coming in on the atmosphere now, normally we would have to kind of go through and either bind these things to action groups or manually go through and right-click all this stuff, which I don't want to do that. And look at that. That's fantastic. It automatically undeployed stuff. Of course, these... <laughs> okay, well, that was foolish of me. These are not undeployable <laughs> panels. <laughs> so that one's on me. But we saw that it did deploy the ones that it, it could deploy. <laughs> all right. Good, good demoing skills, Kevin. Wonderful job. <laughs> and yes, I'm sure as we start to ranter, it's going to be <laughs> iffy. <laughs> oh boy. And yep, yeah, okay, there we go. We're getting some reentry effects. Let's let's throttle up and see if we can maybe <laughs> save these panels. I doubt it. <laughs> nope. There they go. They're gone. All right, that's fine though. Um, I'm just nervous about. Okay, we are coming in well, a little fast, and this is this is a this is a um, vacuum optimized. Oh boy, some stuff exploded. What exploded? I hope it wasn't anything too important. We've still got the the KOS computer. That's good, and we still have yeah. Okay, so I think we're fine. And look at that. We are slowing down nicely. I'm gonna turn SAS off. I'm gonna. Yeah, let's just let the, the atmosphere rotate us whichever which way. Actually, now nah, I'm going to keep the engine on, I think. Just because I do not know how, uh, what this, uh... Oh, this is a crew hatch. Okay. <laughs> but you see, it did try and lower the landing gear. <laughs> I, yeah, that was not, that was not a parachute. Good job, me. So anyway, yes, check out KOS Utils because it will fix the problems it can, but it will not prevent your own stupidity. <laughs> I will talk to you soon. Enjoy. Cheers.